Hello, everybody. I'm all fired up and ready to be with you today. I'm excited to be with you because I'm going to have the opportunity to be of such service. So what I have for you today is the top 10 ways to stay asleep, to not wake up. Um, the reason I'm so interested in this is that I've noticed that a lot of people around here uh, are waking up. And, um, and, and it seems like most of you really don't want to. <laughs> so I want to help you with that. I mean, the heck with waking up. I want to teach you how to stay asleep because this is a real, this is an art. But, it, you know, it's one you've learned, but I would like to emphasize some pointers that might help you in your delusion. So let, let's see what we can do here. So number one, I said top 10, but then I went to the restroom, I thought about a, a number 11, and I'm putting that down, we're just gonna call it a bonus, okay? So this first one is not one of the top 10, it's just an off the wall bonus. So in number 11, on our list of top 10 ways to not wake up, is get mad at God. <laughs> now this is a winning strategy. It's worked throughout history. I mean, you know, the, the, what does God know after all? I mean, you just got, it's just one opinion. <laughs> it's just one thing going on. This can't be more than one opinion, right? So you're right. God's wrong. You're good. God's bad. God doesn't know what he's doing, right? Of course not. I mean, I'm having a hell of a time training them as it is. So, uh, that's the that's the bonus round. Now, let's get to our list, the real list of the top 10 ways to not wake up. So the first of our 10 ways is dismiss those glimpses you've been having. This is number 10. Dismiss those glimpses you've been having. Continue to await confirmation of your awakening until an ego uh, uh, satisfying and flattering cosmic event takes place. I want, I want the skies to open. I want angels. I want trumpets. I want lilies. I want Buddhas. I want Jesuses. Uh, I want it all. And refuse to wake up until you get your way. You know, you can't go wrong with this. I mean, it, it's been, it's just been tried. People try it with me all the time. They really do. They, um, I mean, they come to me and they tell me I'm really not interested in an event, but then they'll wake up without the big event because it's unnecessary. And then a week later, they'll tell me, well, I'm not really sure I woke up because I didn't have the big event. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure that you did not wake up because the one who's stating that you're not sure if you woke up or not definitely did not because that one doesn't exist. How in the world is it going to wake up when it doesn't even exist? I mean, it's a, an imaginary character, mind you, but how much does an, Ameri Amer an imaginary character weigh? Yeah, I mean, it just seems to be imaginary. So anyway, <clears throat> number nine on our top 10 list of ways to not wake up is Continue to focus on your hunches rather than reality. Because <laughs> your hunches have been paying off big time, haven't they? I mean, well, you've been following your hunches for five or 35 years, and you just noticed that they hadn't worked yet, so it's unlikely that they will in the future. So you should just continue to follow your hunches. But, you know, the hell with what anybody has, else has to say. Uh, that will allow you, so continue to focus on your hunch, hunches rather than reality. That will allow you to continue privilege, I got this, to continue to privilege thought over your actual experience. This is tricky until you get used to it, but once you get it, you'll probably have it forever. <laughs> Ooh, I love this. So, um, Number eight on our top 10 list of how not to wake up. Pay no attention to what is. Pay no attention to what is whatsoever. Do not notice what is. And continue to pursue your study 
of what you think about what is, because that's all that counts is what you think, isn't it? It's not what is, it's what you think about what is. How do I know? It's what you've been doing for all of your life, unless you're currently awake. Or it, 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 it's what I did. You know, but I didn't, you know, but I was pretty slick. I only did it for 24 years. <laughs> You know, and you can you can have that sort of unblemished record if you want to follow this great advice. You can be as um, as good as successful as I was for the first twenty four years in my secret shit. So, you know, guys, I get it. I know where you are. I'm, I was I was there. Okay, so I know how to keep you asleep. <laughs> Just gotta do what I did. That's all you gotta do. There's nothing to it. Just do what Fred did. You're guaranteed to nap indefinitely. So, um, pay no attention to what is and continue to study, uh, to pursue study of what you think about what is. Now, number seven on our top 10 list of how not to wake up is hang on to your illusion that there, there's a you there who woke up either long ago or not that long ago or perhaps even yesterday. Sadly, you're not awake right now. That's the report I get all the time, folks. That's the report I get. And I can tell you, I can't think of a, of, of a more clever strategy to not wake up, right? Just, man, just declare, and number one, you gotta, you gotta start out with a, you know, with a real emphatically that you're not awake right now. And that's bullshit, but you can grab hold of that, right? You can, you can just practice that. And you can say, but I don't feel like I'm awake and I'm paying more of my attention than I am, uh, than I am anything else. I'm paying more attention to my feelings. And I don't feel like I'm gonna walk like a. Who is it that's saying that? Don't 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 answer that. Don't even ask that as an inquiry question. You could wake up. God. <laughs> I mean, it really have a disaster, wouldn't we? Uh, okay, number six on our list of the top ten things to do to not wake up. Number six. Decide that you are right about pretty much everything. Don't leave anything out. You're just, I mean, I know you want to say, well, I'm right about just about everything because you're modest. But I don't want you to put that just in there. I just want you to be, go ahead and tell the truth, damn it. I mean, it is, if it hurts their feelings, who are they? They're the little people. <laughs> so just decide that you're right about everything even if it costs you your spiritual freedom. See, be willing to pay the price. This list is only for those who are willing to pay the price to stay asleep. <laughs> okay, uh, number five, claim and declare your own victimship. Yes, because we all know you can either be a victim or you can be free, but you can't be both at the same time. So since we're trying to avoid being awake, let's be sure to claim our victimship. Because we've had it rough, haven't we? Damn, I've been misunderstood, I've been mistreated all my life. So it says, it goes on further here, and it says, make sure to highlight your own history. And don't miss including the part that right after noticing as a, as a, as a two-year-old that there was a me here, the very next thing you noticed was that there was a poor me here. <laughs> poor me. I'm misunderstood. I'm mistreated. I'm misjudged. Damn. I'm mischaracterized. Woo. That is tough. Now, this is, this is not easy, but, but you can do it. Uh, number four on our top 10 lists, uh, top 10 lists of how not to wake up. So some of you have one-on-one -on -one sessions with teachers. I know you do because you'll sometimes write to me about it. And sometimes you have them with me actually. So I, I, I know about it firsthand. And what I want you to do is here's the strategy I've seen that works best. 
in one-on-one -on -one sessions. Just stay asleep. Look at all one-on-one -on -one sessions as being a wrestling match, right? It's a wrestling match and make up your mind to win. Don't let that teacher get around you with his silly logic. Don't get around, let that teacher spread to shed any light in your dark corner. No, 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 you don't want to do that. I mean, you want to win this contest with the teacher because your ego just needs to win this contest because if it doesn't, then you're wrong. Woo! We don't want to be wrong about this thing, do we? Because if we were wrong, we might, if we were wrong about anything, then there looms the possibility that we're wrong about everything. And I don't want to can I don't want to say I'm right and, and, and I'm wrong about everything, but I am because I don't know who the hell I am. See, that's the thing is, I'm, you ever, the truth is coming from a completely different place than what we imagine. We keep thinking this body's it. Oh, here's another good. Here's another bonus, folks. No extra charge. Believe that you're the body. How could I miss that one? Believe that you're the body. This is absolutely perfect because that's what we do. We think we are that body. And I can tell you when I first read the fact, the first non-dual book I ever read, it said, you are not the body. And I said, bullshit and moved on. <laughs> I mean, I knew I was a Fred Davis and that a Fred Davis was this, this body. Isn't, isn't that your experience? Yeah. So you just keep on knowing you're the body. You keep on believing that. You won't, oh, no, you won't have to worry about waking up and all that stuff. No, stay right where you are. <laughs> Okay, so uh, <clears throat> when in satsang or listening to or reading a book or, um, or watching videos, which so many of you like to do, like this one, um, stick to your guns, right? Oh, stick to your guns. Don't let the sneaky teachers uh, 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 entice you into dropping one of your true beliefs for one of their silly ideas. Because <laughs> see, whatever they think or whatever they say, that's suspect. But anything you think or say, hell, that's gospel, isn't it? So since you never lie to yourself, <laughs> don't start now, just hang on to that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, here's another one. I, I, I really like this. So the number two, number two on our list of how to um, stay awake, stay asleep, is to be sure to insult your teacher. Just don't, don't miss this golden opportunity to prove what a big shot you are, okay? And how smart you are and how much you know about spirituality. And uh, you, you, you know, matter of fact, you even woke up way time ago, maybe. <laughs> but I'm not like now. The, uh, so insult your teacher concerning their understanding and their presentation of non-duality. And here's another opportunity for you. As well as their own air personal appearance and bodily functions. Man, I used to have sniffles, and sometimes I'm not even sniffling this idiot, right? And I got so many emails about that, I shouldn't sniffle. I'm not a human being, I don't have bodily functions. I can't be allowed to just sit here and, and be as I am. I must edit out all the crap that would make you think ill of me. I gotta hang on to the lie that I'm a perfect being. Because when I'm a perfect being, then you're imperfect, and that's a perfect setup for keep coming back. You might end up like me. See how that bait works? You're not, you're, you're not worthy. Keep coming back. You're not clear enough. You're keep coming back. You're not clean enough. Keep coming back. Well, do some meditation, do some mantras, do some this, do some that. I'm not running anything against those practices. I'm just saying that they by themselves tend not to work. So if they did, many more people would be doing them. So uh, regardless of anything else, be sure to insult and then ignore your teacher because what do they know? I mean, we, don't, we weren't even there to see if they were, if they did wake up and they probably didn't. You know, this is all probably a big fraud, 
right? Yeah, I said, I bet this is all a big fraud, and he's really rich and um and got you know and got the dancing girls and all this stuff. It's just great, and being a spiritual teacher is quite the gig. It's just, I mean, it's basically, uh, it's basically heaven. I mean, it's just basically heaven. There's, uh, there's nothing that goes wrong here. There's nothing that goes against the unit's wishes. Everything happens just as the unit wishes it to happen. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> and if you believe that, I got a bridge to talk to you about in Brooklyn. So now let's come down to the number one, the number one method for you to not wake up. This is a good one, folks. Get your pencils out. Uh, after insulting the teacher, be sure to offer your own opinions about the nature of reality, because they're waiting to hear them. They're just so excited to get, you know, uh, just a little bit of your wisdom glowed upon, right? They're glowing upon them. I mean, they're just, just, you're sharing the magic. I mean, it's unbelievable. So don't miss out. Be sure to share your own opinions. Um, don't listen to anybody else's opinions, um, you know, and don't pay any attention to your experience. Just continue as you are, and you're, 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 sure, you're sure to work, right? It worked for me. I see it, but, you know, as I said, it only worked for me for 24 years. So I don't know that this will keep you asleep forever, but I think it might because uh, I didn't even have all these. <laughs> I had a bunch of them, but I didn't have all of them. And I managed to stay as, as, asleep for 24 years. Now, when I talk about a sleeper awake, it, it, it's funny because it points toward this unit, doesn't it? This unit didn't used to be awake, and now it is. That's what it sounds like. That is not the truth. See, as I said, hang on to the idea that you are the body. Because if you ever start getting an idea, I mean, the body disappeared right now and the consciousness I'm speaking to, you know, r remained in place, um, what, what problem could you find? In the absence of a friend, I cannot find a problem to save my life. But by continuing to believe that there is a Fred character. So that's, that, that goes along with, well, it's Gail, I guess this is another bonus, Fred. But folks, we got it right here. And your, your, your next bonus is believe that your character is gonna wake up. So we just got, I mean, this is the baker's dozen ways to not wake up. You should be, you should be able to handle this easily, right? You get any two or three of them right, even you can get one if you stick to it. And that'll be enough to keep you asleep until it's not by that time you'll have discovered some of the others. Because, I mean, you know, if you wake up, I mean, then, then you'd be, uh, you're going to find out you don't fit very well with all your buddies because they're seekers. And that's what you were. And that was the agreement. We're all seekers and none of us are going to become a finder. That's the, that's the, that's the secret handshake agreement in, in seekers clubs, right? is that we're just going to seek and seek and seek together. We're going to get together. We're going to drink some white wine. We're going to go to art, uh, art openings. And uh, it's just, we're going to wear white, right? <laughs> Flowers, man. I mean, we'll just burn some incense. I mean, God almighty, the opportunities to expand our egos over being spiritual seekers are limitless. So there you go. That's your top. 10 ways, then I had about three more bonuses in there, four more bonuses, I don't even know. So many bonuses. <laughs> and if you buy now, oh, <laughs> you don't have to buy now, but I would suggest you do buy now if you want to stay asleep. So see you later. It's been great. Bye-bye. <laughs>